Hi everyone, I just uploaded a new map to the Minecraft EDU World Library. Here it is right here, I call it Minecraft Clue. Uh, let's dive on in and take a look at it. This is my Minecraft Clue map. I sponsor a Minecraft club at my school and I'm uh, spending some time with the fourth graders right now and I wanted something that would tie in with their curriculum. And uh, in Texas, the fourth graders spend a lot of time on writing, so I wanted to give them something that uh, could prompt them uh, into writing uh, something. I wasn't sure at first. And uh, for whatever reason, Clue popped into my head, and I thought I could create a map, and we could play a game, and then they could write as a detective or an investigative reporter or something like that. And, uh, and basically talk about their experiences as they try to solve the crime or try to solve the Clue game. So we started off by playing a game of Clue because I figured that some of them didn't, hadn't even played it before. And I, that was true. Most of them hadn't. And so we played a game. and We didn't get all the way through a game, but they, they caught on. They understood what the, what the point of the game was. So I started off a map that basically looked like a two-dimensional game board, but I wasn't really happy with it and so then it's just started building up and I started to look online for ideas for mansions and that sort of thing and and it eventually got built and uh, I have secret rooms and uh, within those secret rooms they will find objects and when they find an object that's when they are able to make a suggestion which is a little bit different than the board game but I, I had to make it uh, I had to make it work uh, for this three-dimensional mansion in which all the players can move around wherever they want to, right? So um, I give them a, a little scenario and uh, they are an investigative reporter and they're trying to solve the crime and uh, I let them know to make a suggestion they have to find the hidden object. In, in the board game, you know, they have to go, they have to find their way into a room and then once they're in a room then they can make that suggestion. So I had to change that up. So I've changed the name of the guests to match uh, characters from Minecraft. And so um, Mr. Bones, for instance, is a skeleton. And I used, uh, instead of, you know, murder devices, uh, I used just uh, items from the game. And we talk about them being stolen rather than used uh, in other ways. And... Um, I also remind them that they're looking for some secret places, and so they have to be really secretive about that because they don't want the rest of their um, their uh, opponents, uh, the other teams, to to watch what they're doing, basically. So here's my entrance way, and I did change the names of all of them. So somewhere in here is a hidden hidden room, hidden object, something, and so there's a hidden hidden chest and within that chest they would find an object and so when they do and they record that on their sheet then they raise their hands I come over double check and uh, then I freeze the game and they can make a suggestion so, so here's the chill room and the chill room also has I have to remember where it is there we go and then down there are a couple of uh, rooms uh, they actually you can perhaps see I'll go in you can see that they have some keypads, so they have to find the clues that will allow them to get into these uh, secret rooms within secret rooms. And I like how that one shuts behind automatically. I have some that don't shut behind automatically, which is kind of a pain because the kids will sometimes forget how they should be shut. Uh, the eating room. The eating room is a little more complicated, so there's a hidden switch which opens that block, pushes that block up, and then there's a hidden doorway behind the, the painting. And then they can get in. Again, another secret uh, pad that they would have to, there we go, have to find the code. Uh, here's the cooking room. I have no idea why question marks pop up like that. I'll fix that. This one's a pretty simple contraption here washer and dryer but when you go in 
And again, there are some secret doors. And I tell them when they come back out, be sure to shut the doors. Let's see, here's the dancing room. I think it's this first one over here. Ooh, that's my favorite one. Again, hidden doors, or secret doors rather. And then when you throw the switch. Huh? Come on, that's pretty cool. In the description I have, um, I give a lot of thanks to a lot of people because seriously, I, I don't know how to do any of this stuff, right? So I looked online. I YouTube uh, all these secret openings and secret doors and those will definitely be in the description. Pool room. I need to add a little bit of something to that pool table. Not that one. Again, behind the paintings. Let's see, I think there's another jump. There we go. A couple hidden doors. And what is this? The focus room. This one I like too. Cause it's getting ready to pop up right in that area. So they throw a switch, which opens a door. Throw another switch and the floor opens. And if they fall down, they get stuck. They just have to respawn. I can figure out another way in this small area here how I wanted to do it. So if they fall in, they get stuck. Sorry. You know what? Respawn. It's not a big deal. Here it goes. Uh, upstairs is the book room, and then way over here, that one, I think that one, that one doesn't have a clue, not all rooms have clues, they have the objects, every room has an object, but not every room has a clue. So they come over here, this is the glass room, again, no idea why there are question marks there. This is the glass room, and uh, what are those called? Are these called topiaries or something like that? Um, four seven six. So there's their first code four seven six. And out here, uh, beyond the garden, is a uh, is a maze. So they have to get into the maze. Let's see. I think it's over here. There it is. And then they can go around. I'll make it easy. I think. There we go. Let's see, does 476 work here? I honestly can't remember. Nope. So it works on one of those other ones that we have found. And uh I'll have a I'll have a map uh in the description or um when I upload this to Minecraft EDU, I, I will definitely give the map so teachers will know which codes open, which doors, that's okay. I think that's it. I think that's all my secret rooms and my secret openings. So um, there it is, and that we've spent a couple of days on it, and uh, they'll they'll spend another day or two just looking around and trying to find them. They they have found several of the clues, but um, it's only those that don't have secret doors. They still haven't figured out how to open the secret doors, even though you have those big giant numbers out in the the backyard, basically. Uh, so that's it, and um, you know I hope that you can find some way. If not, uh, objects and clue, perhaps within those hidden, those hidden places you could have um, problems that they would solve or answers to, uh, you know, is this something that they're working on. I, I don't know. You know, you could, you could sub out any kind of thing that you wanted to. Uh, it doesn't have to be clue. Although, if you're looking for something to do for writing, you know, maybe uh, your students could also be investigative reporters. So, um, I hope that you liked it. Thanks for watching.